Question 20. Calculate the length of AD to the nearest metre. The question is asking for the length of interval AD indicated by the pronumeral X, which is the difference between the length of interval AC and interval DC. Expressing this as an equation, we can write X equals AC minus DC. Now interval AC belongs to the large triangle, triangle ABC, and interval DC belongs to the smaller triangle, triangle BCD. Now it's important to note that interval BC is a common side for both triangles ABC and BCD. The strategy is to work out the length of these two intervals separately and then do AC minus DC to work out X which represents the length of interval AD. Now another thing to note is that triangles ABC and BCD are both right angle triangles. So this angle here, this right angle, is common to both triangles. So we can use regular right angle trigonometry to work out the lengths of interval AC and DC. Now in triangle ABC, we have an opposite side of 100 metres, that's opposite to the angle here of 25 degrees, and interval AC is adjacent to this angle of 25 degrees, so we can apply the tan ratio. So 100 divided by AC, that is opposite over adjacent, is equal to 10 25 degrees. Multiplying both sides of this equation by AC, we get 100 is equal to AC times 10 25 degrees. And then dividing both sides of the equation by 10 25 degrees, we get AC is equal to 100 divided by 10 25 degrees. We'll call this equation number one. In triangle BCD, the angle here is 76 degrees. The side opposite is interval BC, which is 100, and we want to find the length of the adjacent side, which is interval DC. So 100 divided by DC, that is opposite over adjacent, is equal to 1076 degrees. Multiplying both sides of the equation by DC, we get 100 is equal to DC times 1076 degrees. And dividing both sides of the equation by tan 76 degrees to make DC the subject, we get DC is equal to 100 divided by tan 76 degrees. And we'll call that equation number two. Now AD, which equals X, is equal to the difference between AC and DC. So that's 100 divided by 1025 degrees from equation 1 minus 100 divided by 1076 degrees from equation 2. And evaluating this expression here, that equals 189.517 and so on metres, which rounds to 190 metres correct to the nearest metre. Therefore, the answer is option C.